The Ivasenko family decided to baptize their son on the anniversary of the baptism of Kievan Rus. They wanted to perform the ritual in the Volodymyr Cathedral, one of the main churches in Kiev. Little Oleksy was baptized right after the all-night vigil. Firstly, he's turning five months today, so that's a date for him already. It's his birthday, and it's a holiday today, so we decided to baptize him. Thousands of believers started to gather by the Volodymyr Cathedral in the morning for the march. A holiday liturgy was held in the cathedral. Many of those assembled had traveled for hours to be there in support of a unified Ukrainian Orthodox Church. For them, the church, just like the Vyshevanka's many war, is a symbol of patriotism. A thousand years ago we got our own church, and now in times like this, when people require hope and faith, they turn to the church. We all gathered together. We have the same spirit and views on praying for a united Ukraine. It's important for me to support the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Kiev Patriarchate. I believe that there are also people in the Moscow Patriarchate who will soon come to their senses and will reconsider their views as I once did. After a solemn service in the cathedral, a procession of believers started moving through the central streets of Kiev, with spiritual and political leaders side by side at the head. Representatives of every diocese in Ukraine were present. Some 65,000 people took part in the march, forming a column that stretched for kilometers. We have our whole family here. Grandpa is the head, grandchildren, and me with a grandchild. We got a little lost. It's a great holiday today, Volodymyr's Day, the anniversary of baptism, and to support the Ukrainian church. If you think that Ukraine should be a strong spiritual nation, that's what we are going to form right now. That's why it's very important. The religious procession concluded with a mass prayer near the monument to the Saint Prince Volodymyr the Great. Our victory in the East is guaranteed. It is because the Ukrainian people are already united. And if the Ukrainian people are united, then the northern aggressor won't be able to defeat us. That's why this procession is celebrating two victories. Representatives of the Constantinople Patriarchate came to Kiev for the event. The Ecumenical Patriarch sent a message that the procedure of granting the Ukrainian Orthodox Church a tome of autocephaly is almost concluded. The time has come for the Ecumenical Patriarchate to assume its... We are sure that Ecumenical Patriarch is on our side. You won't be orphans because the Mother Church will find a way to unite your development, your success, your growth in the faith of Jesus. The delegation came on an invitation from the president of Ukraine. Petro Poroshenko thanked the representative of the Ecumenical Patriarch for his support of the country and expressed hope that the final decision of the Constantinople Patriarchate will do Ukraine justice. I guarantee that the government won't meddle in internal church matters. But I emphasize that the Ukrainian authorities won't allow other states to do this as well. That's why I find it necessary to sever all the tentacles of the aggressor state which operate in our governmental body. If autocephaly is granted, the unified Ukrainian Orthodox Church will include the churches of the Kiev Patriarchate, a part of the Moscow Patriarchate, as well as the members of the current Ukrainian autocephalist Orthodox Church. We desperately need unification right now. We look for it both in church matters and even political ones. I think that the search for this foundation of unification was also an issue for Prince Volodymyr. Today he reminds us that what unifies us is the baptism of our Lord. The dialogue is underway between the mother church and Ukraine the daughter. Today we rejoice, it's been 1030 years. But I expect even more joy for our president, for the clergy, for the entire Ukrainian people, if we will have the tome. Many predict that Ukraine could be granted the tome by fall of this year, opening a new chapter in the history of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church.